Half a league, half a league, half a league onward. All into the valley of death rode the 600. 161 pounds, 8 ounces. Does that or does that not compute? 161.8, 263 feet of drop, elasticity 75 hundredths, 217 makes him a winner. By a hair. Forward the light brigade, charge for the guns, he said. Into the valley of death rode the 600. Forward the light brigade. 217 feet, exact amundo. Welcome to the age of rage, Paul. Was there a man dismayed? Not the soldier knew. No, oh, someone had blundered. There's not to make reply. There's not to reason why. There's but to do and die. or anything, man. You got it? It's Chamberlain, requiring officer assistance. North End Martin Luther King Skyway. We've got our jumpers back. It's Maxwell, Special Investigations. I can be there in a minute. Out. Got it. Are you okay? Who did this to you? Tell me. Come on. How can the glory fade? Oh, the wild charge they made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Covering up for your friends to be cool. That's stupid. Come on. Who did this to you? Tell me. Hey, hey, kid. Where are you going? We're not finished here. You got any ideas? Relax, kid. think you're playing here, but it's over. All the world wondered. Honor the charge they made. Honor the Light Brigade. Noble 600. Freeze! No! Dr. Lamar? Well, I, uh, I had some research to go over. Preparing for tomorrow's presentation to our friends from Washington, I trust. Yeah, that's... I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You got my report? The report? Oh, you mean this? There is no report. You can't be serious. 
I am very serious about ACTH3. So am I. It's my life's work. But we are experiencing anomalies in the primate and human testing groups. Standing down for six months is prudent science as well as responsible concern for safety. Very nice speech, Doctor. Here's mine. I have invested a small fortune in this project, and I'm just three days away from the FDA's approval, which guarantees me a return on my investment. Now, if the FDA or my insurance company hears any negative report between now and then, I lose everything, and I'm a very poor loser. You want me to suppress findings? You cross me and I'll kill you. I'll kill the doctor who delivered you. I'll burn your house down to the ground with your family in it. There is no report. The average baboon does not know he's looking at his own image or that there's anything wrong with a dot appearing in his forehead. And he'll make no attempt to remove it. Ten minutes ago, however, we gave this subject a concentrated dose of ACTH3. Our primate friend here has made a cognitive leap that might have taken a million years of evolution to accomplish. Thank you, Dr. Lamar. I want to welcome our representatives from the FDA. My name is Dr. Miles Hawkins. It's been my pleasure to be the host lab during the testing phase of ACTH3. As testing moves into production, Dr. Lamar will soon find a new home for his project at Stark Pharmaceuticals. Mr. Chase? Dr. Hawkins, thanks for being such an understanding landlord. My pleasure. Of course, Stark Pharmaceuticals didn't decide to become part of ACTH3 simply to make a better monkey. We want to expand the frontiers of human potential. Now, I sincerely believe that what we show you today will convince you that this breakthrough discovery deserves a P-class designation as a priority drug. All right. Let's get started with the demonstration. Ladies and gentlemen, right this way. ACTH3. It's all the rage, you know. <laughs> hey, Dirks. Showtime. Time to hustle for your hormone, boys and girls. Good morning, group. <clears throat> the uh, students I am introducing to you today have been participating in the limited drug trial for two months now. All our subjects have experienced a tripling of the first pass reading retention ratio. Two of the four have developed photographic memories. Mr. Dirks? Elephant biscuit metabolism, chair fiesta cushion service, omega apple chain box wheel. Very good, Mr. Dirks. You will note that Mr. Dirks has correctly repeated the words on the list. The second group is duplicating from memory the graphic we've just shown them. Would you please show my colleagues what you've already done? <laughs> Up until now, learning meant repetition. Repetition takes time. It is my belief that ACTH3 is more than revolution. This is evolution. This drug holds nothing but promise for all mankind. And the best part, there are no side effects. Get me out of here, man. Paul, we can't. There's a cop asking questions at the nurse's station. Cops? Don't sweat it, Rooms. I checked your file, man. They got you figured for someone who's trying to off himself. So just chill here for a couple of days and you're out of here. Chill, I am coming apart inside. Well, of course you are. You're stuck in this cage with no rage. Relief is on its way. 
Me and Alicia and the others, we did this dog and pony show for some suits from Washington this morning. And I find this in Lamar's fridge. Yeah. Pure ACTH3. This is what they make the shakes from. It's gonna be okay. Good measure. Listen, we gotta go. So you just be a good roomie and keep quiet. You gotta get, you gotta get Don't me worry, out of here. Get me, get me out of here. Get me out of here, Drops. Get me out of here. His blood panel came back negative for drugs. They tested everything heroin, cocaine, crystal meth, ecstasy, you name it. Our crime lab, the optimists that they are, said there are a quarter of a million other substances it could be. At least that many. And if I identify any mystery substance, they'll confirm it. And you told them? Nothing. I called you. Can you help? I'll try, although... I'm not sure if a blood sample will tell you why college students choose to jump off bridges quoting poetry. And wearing handcuffs, you miss that. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? K2? Hey! <laughs> Do drop in stone, baby. What is that thing? Oh, it's a personal ascension dissension device. And it's stone break. What on earth are you doing bringing that down here? We're 50 meters underwater, don't you know? Hey, this is my personal motation rotation device, all right? I was in between deliveries. So, you want to talk to me? I guess there's a new uh, threat to Port Columbia that we got to smash, huh? Mm-hmm. Whoa, I didn't know this uh, gig came with an expense account. Oh. All right. You know, I never had a credit card before. Well, I did once for a month, but they wanted it back. But, you know, hey, I swear it was their fault. It's a locator. Should you get into trouble, which I consider an inevitability, you simply press the red button on the card and we'll know where to find you. This is way cool. I knew you were on board with this whole Team Mantis concept. Look, use only an extreme emergency if the situation requires the intervention of the Mantis. You rang? Hey, Doc. Congratulations. That's a tough card to qualify for. And what did the lovely Lieutenant Maxwell want? Not business, I hope. She asked me to analyze a blood sample for the police department. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure she did. Yeah, I tried to get blood once. Ended up passed out. Had to sip orange juice with a couple of ladies and this uh, homeless guy with a tinfoil hat. <laughs> Paul Benton. This guy's a courier. I work with him. Oh, listen, I trade jobs with you any day. Mm. Spoon feeding grown ups mm. isn't exactly oh, yeah. my ideal gig, you yeah, know? Sure. <laughs> I don't know where it is. It was there and then it was gone. Where is it? Paul. Hey, man, what's up? It's me, Savage. Where is it? Did you take it? Take what? You took it. I want my bike back. Your, your bike? It's, it's at work where you left it. That's why I'm here checking on you, bro. It's mine. I want it back. My dad gave it to me for my birthday, and I want it back. Dude, what have they got you on? I want it back. All right, OK, look, just, just, we'll get your bike back, OK? Just, hey, just chill out. Hey, look, now, I'm just going to ring for the nurse, all right? Listen, listen, I know a hospital can be a real downer, but right now I gotta believe that you should be horizontal! Fire! Stay poor! Hey! Definitely panic button time! Already? All right, Mr. Savage. Tell us where you are. Oh, are we in the valley of death? Well, it makes no difference to me. Does it make a difference to you, toots? Hey, kids, it's all the rage. Have a nice day. Let her go. 
Do it now. Do it. Do it. Ah! And get to it. Hey, boss, you gotta get back here. I have to stop your friend. This place is crawling with cops. They'll find him. You gotta push that out of here before they find you. says you know where this came from. You saw something in the stairwell. I don't know what it was. How do you think it got in the building? The window. There was a crash and it was just there. I know I sound crazy. Maybe I am. Am I crazy, Lieutenant? You have to tell me. I know you people know things. What was it? Something went wrong. I used a dart, but for some reason it didn't stop him. Well, are you sure you hit him? <clears throat> yes. It achieved a complete electrical field, didn't even slow him down. My theory was a bummer dart. You shot a blank, Doc. Hey, you're in luck. You got one left. Now, maybe we should uh, use it on a control subject and see if it paralyzes properly. Dart yourself. Hmm. So, you don't like my theory? What's yours, Doc? These darts work by using an electrical charge to trigger a biochemical reaction. They disrupt the brain synaptic firing mechanism. Somehow, whatever's in your friend's system is overriding the effect. Yo, my bud's out there somewhere. I gotta find him. You guys coming? I can't. I'm at the limit. All right. I'll see you when I see you. Did you get anywhere with the blood sample? Yep, I downloaded it from the lab analyzer. Take a look. Looks like some sort of amino acid compound. It's an adrenocortisone derivative. Our professor friend, Lamar. He's studying adrenocortisones, isn't he? You don't understand. I've never heard of anybody named Paul Benton. It sounds like he's heard of you. His screen turned up a substance that's in the exact same family of compounds as your hormone. Well, he certainly didn't get it from me. He's not even part of the program. Where he got it doesn't matter. The point is, the same drug that may have caused wild, erratic behavior in this young man is being tested on innocent students. Oh, what's wild and erratic? They're college students full of hormones of their own. You were in college. I'm sure you did some crazy things. Jumping off bridges, assaulting police officers, that's no college prank. All right, Dr. Hawkins. I'll take it under advisement. That's not good enough. We'll have to suspend the program pending evaluation. No, that's impossible. You just don't understand. There is too much at stake. Bill, as a fellow scientist, I know what it's like to put time and energy into a project and hit a bump in the road. But this is what you must do. This is my experiment. It's being done in my lab. I have the authority based on our contract. I'm sorry. When will you see the students next? They're scheduled in at 7 o'clock for the dosage and testing, but... I'll come down then and explain my decision. Oh, no, I didn't know about it. Hawkins said there's some kid who acted crazy at a hospital who has some ACTH3 in his bloodstream. How is that possible? I don't know, it just is. I only know that Hawkins says he's coming down here at 7 to shut us down. This is my fault. I did what you told me. I tried to talk him out of it. Ma, quit whining. Make him happy. Tell him we're shutting down, if that's what he wants to hear. Are we? We're shutting down? We are hanging on until Friday. 
I will worry about Hawkins. That little contingency we discussed? Being taken care of even as we speak. This is MGTV YouTube. I don't know what exactly the story is on our bro Paul Ben, but I know he's on the streets and he's not exactly dialed in on the right freight. So I just want everybody to keep their ears open, get on the airwaves as soon as you hear anything. Who are you, Savage? The Spirit of Godmother? No, I'm his friend and I'm just trying to help him out. You got a better idea? I was just busting him. I'll listen for you, okay? Oh, nice. The second you hear <laughs> anything. Your reaction proves it's the right decision to stop the experiment. So write a paper on it. We came here for our daily dose, and you're not going to stop us. You can't take ACTH3 out of the lab. It's a controlled substance. There is nothing controlled about rage. Out of my way, Doc. the influence of a powerful substance. I'll say. Let's go. None of you were like this before this experiment began. You've got to take control back from the drug. Later, dude. <laughs> You're a smart person, with or without ACTH3. You can stop it. Right here. You coming or what? I can't. License plate AFGL706 in the parking lot. It's a guy with a pair of binoculars scoping this place. AFGL706. It's that black 89 Lincoln with a gold package. Same car was here during the exhibition. We're being watched. Why? What is this? Who knows about this? It's a smoke detector. The guy said the lab had to be brought up to code. The lab is already up to code. The gang's all here. Well, somebody's watching. This place is rigged. I say we blow before it does. No, no, wait, wait, wait. My work, my research notes, everything's in the lab. Forget about that. But my life's work will be lost. These kids are a bunch of armed and dangerous junkies. These junkies, Leora, have brain cell growth patterns that rival Einstein. Dr. Hawkins, I just heard. My God, what a tragedy. Brian Chase, this is Lieutenant Maxwell. Mr. Chase's company is funding research on ACTH3. You know anything about this? I know that I'm shocked and outraged, and I'll do whatever it takes to help bring these perpetrators to justice. If that means putting up reward money for information, so be it. You have any ideas on who might want to do this? Open up the pharmaceutical industry register. Start with the A's. This is a cutthroat business, Lieutenant. ACTH3 is a product that's going to change the map of intelligence-enhancing substances. Now, our competitors would stop at nothing to try to derail us, but that's not going to happen. Bill Lamar's work will not be in vain. When did you last talk to Dr. Lamar? Just this afternoon. Did he mention that Dr. Hawkins was shutting down the experiment? Yes. I was going to talk to you about that tomorrow. Something about side effects? Increasingly aggressive behavior. I witnessed it myself in the lab just before the explosion. I think the FDA should be notified immediately. Of course. I'll see to it myself. Our lab would take two weeks to analyze this. That's the advantage of owning your own. If somebody tries to blow you up, you can figure out what they used. In this case, gelignite. Ah, 
plastic explosive. It's very popular these days. Easy to manufacture, hard to detect. I just can't figure it, though. Who would want to do this? Well, like Chase said, somebody's probably trying to sabotage the ACTH3 project. But the project was already in trouble. Lamar must have told the company you were shutting down, or... Maybe he didn't have time. Or maybe he was afraid to. You think someone was pressuring Bill Lamar? Someone or something. Thing? Never mind. It's just a theory. Look, I gotta go. I'll check with you later. Your bro is chilling in there, Savage. It's not safe here. Safe! You're out of there! That is truly the way the ball bounces, but it is a game of inches. We can't just sit around here. We're in trouble. What trouble? What trouble? The lab blew up? Dr. Lamar is dead? They probably think we did it. They think we lost our minds on this stuff. Hello? Who cares what they think? They wanted to cut us off. Yeah, now they're gonna want to arrest us. Hasn't anybody thought about this? We stole drugs. I thought the rage was supposed to make you smarter, not brain dead. I'll give you brain dead! Children, children. We know who did this. The people with the money. Stop it! And we know why. To protect their money. The question is, what are we gonna do about it now? I say we hit them before they hit us again. I say we get a little rage on before we do anything. I say I'm gonna step outside and get some air. Deal. Hike on, man. Just stay out of sight. Savage, what are you doing here, man? What are you, crazy or something? With me? I mean, I saw what you did at the hospital. Who are these guys you're hanging out with, huh? It's my roommate and a couple of his friends. We're in this program to make them smarter. <laughs> they got me some of this stuff. Look at you, man. You're all strung out. You're hooked on this stuff. You gotta just let me help you. <laughs> Who's this? Just a courier looking for some directions. Well, then you are really lost. Ask the man. He's lying. What do we got here, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's the locator. I put it on an RF relay from the seaport, just in case. Taylor must have found something. Or well, something's found him. Bloody hell. What? I've lost the lock on. He could be anywhere. Sorry, Mr. Courier. We don't take plastic here. Look, like I told you, I made a wrong turn. All right, I'll, I'll just grab my pack and be out of here, all right? No harm, no foul. Just leave him alone, okay? Something is going on with you, babe. What is it? <laughs> I know what it is. She ain't raging. She's just pretending. I saw her dump her share. I mean, that's how little messenger boy found us, huh? She's a spy. No! I just think that maybe the stuff is bad. I mean, look at us. On the run, hiding, waving guns around. Dirk, you didn't used to be like this. None of us did. 
Maybe Dr. Hawkins was right. We're stronger than the drug. We don't need it. Okay, if you don't want to rage, fine. But we still have the matter of what to do with our visitor. <sighs> I know. We'll take Alicia's dosage for, say, the whole week. After all, she won't be needing it. And we'll offer it to our new friend here. Bottoms up, it's last call. You can't give him that much at once. Well, well, what can I say? That's so generous. But now you guys should keep this for yourself. Do it. And do it now. Welcome to the Age of Rage, Savage. Similarities, see? It's like the supermarket barcodes, right? It's like one, 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 one. It's yes. No, it's just it's easy. Darks, please. I need some. Help me get some. Get it off. You had your chance. I'll do anything. Just help me! The binary system, right? Is the difference between nothing and one thing. Right? Or, or the similarity, see? See, it's the supermarket barcodes, right? It's like 01101 is yes, and 1101 is, 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 is no. It's just, it's, it's, it's infinite, you know? It's just like, it's how computers work. It's how the whole, the whole universe works. Yeah. You are seriously on my nerves. <laughs> I'm on your hands, you try that again! Go on, Savage! Feel the rage, man! Ride the train, see where it takes you. I can already see. I can see everything. Are you afraid to die, Savage? I'm not afraid of anything. There's nothing to fear. There is nothing, so there's nothing to fear! Well, this is it! This is what we are! Men or mice! Angels or devils, fight or flight! So get ready to face it! All or nothing, baby! Yeah, come on, let's see what you got. Come on, spin the big wheel. Let's see what's behind door number two. Let's see what you got, tough guy. <laughs> Relax, man. I was just messing with you. <laughs> yeah, well, I was just having a little fun myself. Gentlemen, well, you two are having fun over there, but we're running dry over here. So what do you two tough guys suggest we do? I'm late your calls. Let's go meet our maker. Okay, good. Bye. I've staked out every one of their dorms, every family member's house. I've wired every phone. Nothing. They've gone totally rogue. This hormone's different from any I've studied. To tap such higher brain functions and at the same time to activate such primal, violent tendencies. I've got a SWAT unit on standby and a full APB on them. What are you saying? These are kids under the influence, yes, but they can still be saved. I want to save them as much as you do, but they're armed, they're high, and pretty soon they're going to run dry. What then? Well, it doesn't matter if they're dumb or smart. The main thing that drives a junkie is the next score. So, you hang around the source long enough, they're bound to show up. You sure about this? Leora is right. Those kids are addicted and will do whatever it takes to get their next fix. Stark Pharmaceuticals is the most likely target. Okay, now, look, I've added a flux capacitor to try to handle these uh, power surges. You must minimize your movements and not try to do too much or you'll burn out your circuits. Not to mention the strain on your own nervous system. I appreciate your concern, but you don't go into a fight pulling your punches. Miles, we built this thing to enhance your life, not to risk it. There are other lives at stake. Those kids, 
I'm partly responsible. Yes, but you sponsored the legitimate experiment. And I'm going to use a legitimate experiment to stop it. Miles, you... Just watch yourself. Papers, all of these ACTH3 notes. I've got to destroy them. You understand me, Atkins? No more loose ends. Yes, sir. One less loose end. <laughs> Miles, I just thought I'd let you know you've got company. Either there's a midnight parade, or half the Port Columbia PD is headed for Stark Pharmaceuticals. I'd shake a mechanical leg if I were you. I supply you with ACTH3, you stay out of the picture. It's reasonable. Well, apparently our ability to reason has been impaired. That's what they tell us anyway, so I'm afraid we may have to be unreasonable. Can't be helped. You see, I know your FDA approval is just hours away, and all that money is just brushing against your fingertips. But if they find out about us, your humble little lab guinea pigs, then things might just get all jammed up. So you blow the lab sky high. The situation is not unfixable. You people still have the ability to attain perfection. I think we better see some perfect product first. <sighs> oh. The old, the mother load. <laughs> you man just call me the mantis <laughs> Taylor you are all right rage rules <laughs> Taylor, stop! This is Lieutenant Maxwell of the Port Columbia Police. Put down your weapons, walk out now, and you won't be harmed. I repeat, put down your weapons, walk out now, and you won't be harmed. <laughs> Does anybody feel like giving up? <laughs> Let him go. I'm the only one that understands you. Then I know you'll understand this.
We've got Devon Taylor before the police do. Finders, keepers. Taylor, give me the gun. Oh, no, no, can't do, Doc. What do you want? Well, now, I need you to make me some juice. This, uh, rage, whatever you call it, ACTH, I need, I need you to make me some more. That's not what you need. Besides, I don't even know how. Oh, give me a break here. I mean, you're gonna make banana cream pie, you need bananas and cream. You're gonna make ACTH, you need A, C, T, and H. Listen, Stone Greens, we were tight for a while, but you try something like that again, man. Well, we weren't that tight. This is not you talking, Taylor, it's the chemical. It's me the 12 steps, Doc. I, my body knows what it needs. Just trust me, please. I do trust you, you wouldn't be here unless I did. But I can't help you poison yourself. And you can't shoot me. Oh, yeah? Well, I can shoot him. Yeah, he always treated me like dirt anyway. Come on, Doc. I will shoot him! You wanted the mantis to be real as much as I did. Shut up! Not because you believe in doing good. Shut up! You haven't changed, Taylor. You're still the same inside. Damn it, Miles. Shut up. Just do it! Don't make me hurt anybody, Doc. I don't want to hurt anybody. That's right, you don't want to hurt anybody. You don't want to hurt yourself. This thing that's got a hold of you, throw it off! I can't. You have to. It's not that easy! I know. It's that hard. Oh. Oh. No. Give me the gun, Taylor. Come on. Give me the gun.